Sit back and get comfortable. Today, Rutten Strut Outdoors is taking you to Winter Hawk Outfitters in Colorado for some elk hunting. Stay tuned to this. I'm Bob Shellam. Uh, I've been with Winterhawk. This is my sixth year. I started here in uh, June of 1999, and uh, when I retired, I was looking to come in and uh, do some packing and uh, working outside. So I decided on this industry and and uh, enjoy it. I do uh, enjoy enjoy most all aspects of. Uh, here at Winterhawk Outfitters. and My name is Brian Bivens. I work for Winterhawk Outfitters. I've been a guide here for two years. Um, one of the things that made me decide to come work for Winterhawk was uh, how long that Larry Amos, the owner of Winterhawk, has been in business. He's been in business for over 20 years um, as a well-established business in this beautiful country. When looking to choose an outfitter in the Rocky Mountains, you should always look at their country elevation and terrain. Uh, like I said, Indian Cliff Base Camps here is at 9,300 feet. We pretty much go up from there. Um, preparation for your hunt, you should try to get in the best shape as you can. It's just going to help you out in the long run. You're always going to have to get acclimated no matter what for the elevation, but it will, will help your hunt and make you have a better successful hunt. Uh, here at Winterhawk Outfitters, we're in the wilderness and we do everything uh, by horseback. Um, Larry has some very good stock. I grew up around stock. and. Uh, Always enjoyed handling horses, and, and Larry has some, some good horses here and some good pack mules. And that's, a, that's part of our livelihood here at Winterhawk. Uh, these guys get us where we need to go in the mornings and, and pack out our game, so we appreciate them very much. Uh, what we try to do here at Winterhawk is try to match the uh, when the guest arrives, uh, whether they're a pack-in camp or just for a summer camp, uh, we try to match them personality-wise and size-wise, of course, with, uh, with the stock that we have. Uh, so that they get along comfortable so that when they're out there riding, whether it's a, an hour and a half ride in or it's an all-day uh, horseback ride or fishing ride, that, that they're comfortable on that because it's their vacation. Uh, Larry, Larry here makes sure that, you know, whatever the guest wants to do, if they book a three-day trip, we don't necessarily have a one-hour, two-hour, three-hour trail ride. It's whatever they want to do. If they want to get up late, if they want to have a brunch and go out for a couple hours and then for a hike that's... That's up to them. We try to accommodate their vacation, whatever they want to do. At Winterhawk, they realize that when you book a hunt with them, it's your vacation time. Whether you're there to fish for trout or you're there to kill a big six by six bull elk, they do whatever they can to make that happen for you. And most times they do. The first few days I was at Winterhawk, I was filming for Jessica and Jamie, two of Larry's daughters. They put us up in a drop camp so the girls could pick the days they wanted to hunt. The day before the season started, we were on our way out to a drop camp. We came across the mountainside and what we saw was something we hoped to see the next few days.
As we decide to give our horses a break and check out this nice bull, Brian brought it to our attention that he thinks this was one of the bulls that his client shot during the last archery season. It was limping around a little bit and couldn't keep up too well with his cows, but it gave us a sure nice show. We hope to see this bull the next few days. All of our hunting is done by foot or horseback. If, you, if you're not able to ride a horse, you really should consider another alternative for a hunt. Here, we do a lot of horseback riding. Uh, we leave camp a lot of mornings, 4 o'clock, 4.30. You need to be prepared to ride in the dark for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours just to get to where we're going to hunt. And sometimes you need to ride an hour, an hour and a half in the dark to get home at nights. So that's one thing I like to impress upon our people that come here and book here is try to get yourself in shape, whether it's uh, just walking, jogging, carrying a pack, but try to get yourself in some shape so you can at least make a reasonable attempt to get out and work hard with my, my guys, and, and that'll sometimes depend on whether you're successful or not. This afternoon came and went pretty fast. Just as it was starting to get dark on us, a spike came up from down below from where we were set up. Not long after he made his way up past us, and the rest of the herd came out of the timber. I thought the girls were going to get a good shot at a couple of the bulls that were in there, but they decided to pass with the light fading pretty fast. <laughs> 